is this woman that we're looking at? Who is she? She is a very well-to-do woman who is quite pious, restrained, and elegant in her appearance and her social standing. In Portrait of a Woman, you're seeing a young woman from the mid 15th to 16th century. She's really thinking about how she can use the power of her ensemble to portray exactly what she wants others to think about her. In this painting, these are quite believable. These are quite realistic. That's something that's particularly um, engaging for me about this work of art. The keys that tell me that she has a well-to-do standing, that would be the bleached white nature of her garment. This is a period before chemical bleach was invented. It meant that she had staff to take care of and launder and keep pristine her garments. Let's just think about how these fibers are being produced in the mid 15th to early 16th century in Europe. So the fabric linen, it's coming from this plant, flax. Flax is this beautiful plant that grows quite tall with blue flowers on it. But when you process it and you go through all these steps to actually try to get as much of the outer covering of the flax plant off of it, what you're left with when you first weave up the fabric is a silvery, sometimes yellowish textile. Then the textile manufacturer would take to this place called the bleaching field, and they would unfurl the textiles out onto the grass in the pasture area and allow the sun to bleach the textile. Look incredibly closely at the front of her headdress. This is an incredibly finely woven textile. This is the signature of this well-to-do woman who is not vain. She's wearing understated elegance. What really catches the eye is this very solid black overdress that she's wearing. The dress was made with broadcloth, a woolen textile that has the feel of a lamb's ear. It had many, many processes that happened to it, which meant it was quite costly, not only in terms of the wool that was needed to produce the yardage, you had to then brush it and then clip it to even get it softer and softer. It made it incredibly hard wearing, but it gave it this luxurious soft hand. Black was very costly to produce. It was one of the hardest tints to achieve because there's such depth of color. It required a lot of dye stuff. It was incredibly hard um, to create a color fast black. The color would fade. So if you were out laboring, it would easily then seep out of the fabric. So there's the implication by her wearing black that she actually isn't someone who's having to labor in that way. So this painting, it's, it's quite simple, yet it's deceptively simple. The painting gives me so much information about what was happening in terms of dress and identity, power, status, artistic practice in the way that all these materials are portrayed. It's a painting that every time I look at it, more details are revealed to me.